Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a Sephora holiday savings event haul, my second one. <laughs> so if you want to see what else I picked up, then just keep watching. new here my name is Morgan I'm a product knowledge enthusiast I just love knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys and yes this is the second Sephora saving event haul this one is not sponsored I purchased all of this with my own money I did not intend for my Sephora hauls to be back-to-back -back, but when you do sponsor videos sometimes you don't really get to choose when it goes up because you have to wait for it to get approval but anyways this is just how the cookie crumbled so we have two Sephora hauls in a row. So I'm sure some of you are not going to complain because I love me a good haul video. So like I said, my last Sephora haul was sponsored, but those were like the very first main items on my list because I did get to shop and pick them out a little bit earlier. So these are just kind of the rest of the stuff that I wanted. I actually do want to go in store because I want to smell some perfumes and just see if anything else stands out to me. So I'm not saying there's going to be a third haul, but like there might be. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, despite all of that, this haul was of almost like $800. <laughs> 800 But the main reason is I actually picked up Jose's Christmas present for me because I asked for, oh, let me pull it up, the Dyson Airwrap whole system. This is like $550. So this is why my order seemed so expensive, but I wanted to order this on behalf of Jose because obviously 20% off is a huge discount when you're buying an item this expensive. So seriously, if there's any big ticket items that you want to pick up, this is probably the time to do it. I was not gonna let Jose pay full price. I was like, let me just order this. I didn't realize that they came in colors. I honestly just like randomly ordered one of these sets and you guys asked what color I got. I don't know, I'm, I don't really wanna look into it. At least it'll leave some element of surprise for Christmas, but I did pick this up. I'm not gonna open it, but <sighs> that's why my order was so expensive. I think it messed with my mind because like it's my husband's gift to me, so it really like doesn't count as the total, total amount I spent, but just like seeing the number in the cart, I was like, oh my God, I'm spending so much money. But anyways, I did get that. That is my Christmas present to myself from my husband. <laughs> Did him a favor there to save him some money. Let's get into the other stuff that actually is for me to play with. So I did pick up one face mask. These are only like, what, $5 at Sephora. I've never tried the Sephora collection sheet masks. So I did pick this up. Maybe this isn't a sheet mask. I don't know, but it's a mask. So this is the lychee face mask and it's supposed to be for hydration and it does look like a sheet mask i don't know i've never tried this i actually ran out of my sheet masks for my face and i haven't been as into sheet masks because i think my face is abnormally small <laughs> and they all like they just don't fit me i don't know they make my hair wet but anyways i did want to try this so i just kind of threw this into my cart um if you watched my live last week i did a shop with me and uh we did a full in-depth conversation on the Kigali perfumes which are much more pricey than I thought they were going to be. This is Huda Beauty's fragrance line and I don't really like rollerball fragrances but all of the regular spray perfumes were sold out. The ones that were more affordable like the smaller size and the bigger sizes were what $140 and I wasn't gonna blindly buy a perfume for $140 but I did pick up one of the rollerballs and I don't like rollerballs. It's less satisfying because I like to spray perfumes you know but if I was gonna try this brand it had to be the rollerball so I got the musk 12 and the vanilla 28 and I haven't smelled these yet let's do that so this side is the vanilla mm, that smells really good Ooh. okay I mean if I had spent $140 on the vanilla I would not have been mad what are the notes? So the notes of the vanilla are vanilla orchid, tonka absolute, brown sugar, mmm, brown sugar, amber woods, and musk. And I mean, I'm not, I'm not a scent person. I don't review fragrances. 
fragrances are too expensive for me, but it smells good. And I can smell that like vanilla brown sugar muskiness. It's really, really yummy smelling. And I'm not a sophisticated person with perfumes at all. I like teenage scents. Like I like vanilla, gourmand, cotton candy, fruity. I like scents for the youth. So yeah, I'm not there with mature scents. Okay, let's try the Musk 12. Though I have the vanilla all over me and I don't want to put anything else on, so... Vanilla 12, if you like vanilla scents, amazing. You know what? This musk is not bad. I normally don't like musky scents. I don't really want to mix this, but let me just... I like the vanilla better, but I can deal with this musk. I have no clue what it smells like, so let me <laughs> read the notes to you. Lotus flower, jasmine, musks, vanilla, and sandalwood. I don't know. I keep smelling the vanilla. Maybe I shouldn't have rolled this on me. <laughs> I like this, I think. I don't love it like the vanilla. The vanilla instantly, I was like, yes, delicious. The musk smells good though. I'm not mad about this rollerball. So I don't know, do they have these in store? I wanna smell more. I'm happy with this duo, particularly the vanilla side. Oh my gosh, I keep smelling it. It's delicious. Okay, 10 out of 10 for that vanilla. If you wanna go ahead and buy the big size of the spray perfume, this is yummy smelling. Okay, let's get into the makeup. So I picked up another item from LYS Beauty or List Beauty, I'm not sure which way to pronounce it, but LYS is short for Love Yourself. And this is a black owned clean beauty brand at Sephora. I mean, I'm sure you guys already know that, but I was late to the party. I did pick up in my first haul, the List Triple Serum Foundation, and I love this. I'm wearing it right now. It's so natural and comfortable and it just feels good for my skin. I wanted to try their cream product because I heard a lot of people talking positively about this. So I did pick up the Satin Matte Cream Blush in Kindness. This feels very, very creamy. I do love the consistency of it. I am wearing it on my cheeks right now. It's a gorgeous just natural everyday color. It, I did have a little bit of powder underneath and it didn't seem to get disrupted by that. Um, it did fade actually a little bit from when I first applied it, but I do enjoy this color. I feel like a pinky kind of natural rosy color and it's not too shiny. It looks really beautiful. It's a, definitely, it's a wonderful consistency. So I'm liking this. I see why people talk about this. I do need to try the cream bronzer. I have not yet gotten my hands on that, but I do really, really like this. So I'm happy I tried this out. This is a very good formula. Um, I mean, as you could tell from the moment that I entered this video, Today's look is quite vampy, quite dramatic. I really wasn't going for that, but that's how it turned out. Uh, but I am so surprised at how much I enjoy this eyeshadow palette. So this is the Dior Backstage Eye Palette, and I've been skipping over these releases recently. The last time that I used these was when the first eyeshadow palettes launched, and I wasn't like in love with them. They were just fine. But there was something about this color story that I was super duper curious about. So this is Plum Neutrals. I mean, okay, you know what that something is. I, I love purple tones. And this looked kind of boring, but also beautiful. Like the good photos that I saw online made this look very attractive, but then there were photos that also didn't. So I just needed to try it for myself. So it does have a primer here. And like I said, I'm not in love with the formula of these eyeshadows, at least from what I've tried in the past. And when I swatched these, they swatched a little bit more dry, but application on these shocked me. Absolutely beautiful. And now, since the last time I've used these, I'm not sure if my preference in eyeshadows have changed. I'm gonna have to go back and try those to see if the formula is different or not, but I love this formulation. It definitely applies a lot better than it swatches. The swatches looked lackluster and kind of dry to me and I was like, mm, I knew I shouldn't have gotten this. And then I put them on my eyes. First of all, I love this eye look. There really aren't any true mattes in here, but it creates that all over glowy effect comparable to Tom Ford and Charlotte Tilbury and it doesn't look unflattering at all. The colors are much more pigmented on the eyes. It's just an easy formulation to work with. I think it's great for beginners or just to throw on a quick eye. Everything blended beautifully. It was the perfect level of pigmentation for an everyday eyeshadow palette. So the eyeshadows weren't overly pigmented, but they were pigmented enough to where you didn't have to keep going back to build, but they would still blend out soft enough if you needed them to. This metal shade in the middle is on my eyelids. You know, it's not the most shimmery, reflective shadow that I've ever come across, but it's beautiful and soft and all over glowy. You can get a very neutral, kind of cooler toned look with this. Of course, I leaned more towards the purples here. I had to see what was up with them, but I'm really, really impressed with this. I think it's 
a great everyday friendly kind of palette very easy to apply it gives a very luxurious look on the eyes you get a similar finish to this with Tom Ford and with Charlotte Tilbury that's what this gives very impressed with this so I'm very happy I picked this one up um, I'm definitely recommending this I, I I really really like this I also picked up from their kind of you know from this line the more expensive line from Dior a new eyeshadow quint so I recently I recently dipped my toes into soft cashmere from their permanent quint line and I was reminded how beautiful the formula is in their permanent line. You know, sometimes with their limited launches, they're the formula's hit or miss and the permanent line I was reminded when I tried soft cashmere how beautiful it is so I picked up a new shade and honestly my mom has this I'm losing it in our divorce when I move out so I picked up one for myself and I strayed away from my normal Kuto neutrals and picked up the warmer one so I got Mita so I have tried this before my mom has this shade that's why I knew I wanted it but this just looks like a great addition to my Dior Quint collection just because I wanted something more warm since I always lean more cool and the formula on this is absolutely beautiful great everyday eye the formulations definitely differ between the backstage line and the luxury line the lux I mean they're technically both luxury line but you know the backstage they created to be a little bit more for a younger crowd everything's a little bit more affordable like this feels like a more luxurious formula I don't know they're different but they're both really really great this is a little bit more rare rich I would say not like for rich people but like the colors and the tones it's, they're they're richer <laughs> the formulation is richer so yeah I'm really excited about these I feel like Dior backstage and the regular Dior line are two different brands okay and I've been off of lips for a long time but I actually picked up a good number of lip products this time. I picked up a new Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat. I love these lip liners. They're very creamy and they last a long time. And I've been trying to get more into deeper lips for this upcoming season. You know, last year we didn't go anywhere. Things were very, very weird. So I definitely didn't wear makeup and I definitely wasn't wearing dark lips or anything. I think this year I have a little bit more opportunity to show off the dark lips. So I got a a lot of winter kind of colors that I'm excited about. So I got the shade Crazy in Love. I didn't have this one and this is like a deeper pink color. I swatched it along the outer lower lip and it looked like when I filled it in it would be a beautiful bold but still wearable lip for the holidays. I really like it. It has a kind of mauve pink undertone with some depth there. Love this formula. I'm very well acquainted with it. So I did want to try a new formulation from Mr. Makeup by Mario. I don't know. His lip pencils intrigue me. I feel like this lip pencil is very old school. Everything about it. So it does come with its own sharpener, which we love. And the thing that makes it feel more old school to me is that it comes with a brush. A lot of lip liners don't come with that anymore. But I don't know. Maybe they didn't. I'm going to say back in the day, growing up, my mom's lip pencils always had a brush so I'm calling it old school but anyways happy to see there's a lip brush because it's really great to mix lip colors together or for blending out your lip color very useful you know you never know when you're gonna need it uh, but I did pick up the shade Lauren um, and this shade I traced along my upper top lip and this one is a lot more plum I don't know if you can see that the Charlotte Tilbury looks more pinky and then the makeup by Mario looks more plum and like I said even the formulation of this is a a little bit more old school like think MAC in that it's a little bit more of a waxy formula compared to the Charlotte Tilbury which is a little bit more creamy but it still is not like a dry wax it's it's a creamier wax it glides across the lips but you can definitely feel the difference in formulation between the Charlotte Tilbury and the Makeup by Mario and I don't think one formula is better. I mean, I know Charlotte Tilbury lasts a long time. Charlotte Tilbury has an exceptional lip liner formula. I can't speak of the makeup by Mario, but I'm not saying a waxier formula is better than a creamy formula. It's all kind of preference. Typically, I prefer a waxier formula when I work on clients, but on myself, I prefer a creamier formula. But the waxier I prefer on clients is because I feel like I have a little bit more control, and I definitely felt that way with this even when applying. Anyways, we'll have to see. I wasn't too sure about his lipsticks that he also launched. They're a bit drying, but I think I like the lip liner better than I like the lipsticks. 
And I like this color. I think this is a great fall color as well. And this I had been eyeing for quite some time. I knew I had to get this. This was on my wish list for a while. So I picked up a new Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. This is from their Super Nudes collection. And this launched like late after the collection had already launched, which is why I didn't get my hands on it on the initial launch. Sorry, you guys. I feel like my makeup and everything is so intense that I need to get my hair out of the frame. But anyways, I knew I wanted to have this because I really liked the color, but I was just gonna wait it out for this sale. So this is the Cover Star lipstick. It is the Matte Revolution formula, correct? Yes. I love this. This is the exact kind of lip shade I've been loving for the last year, which is why I've tried to branch out with the deeper lip colors, as you can see, to get me away from these colors. But, uh, look at this. Peachy Nude Dream right here. Absolutely beautiful formula. Charlotte Tilbury has one of my favorite, if not my favorite, lipstick formulas. So if you like a super, super duper peachy nude lip color, I definitely recommend this one. I did put it over the two darker lip colors that I got, and they, they didn't look good together. This looks good over a brown, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, really excited about this. Love this color. Okay, and then now let's get into this deep, vampy lip. I definitely picked these up to be a little different, to step outside of my comfort zone because I've been loving the Patrick Ta lip products lately and I knew I wanted to get more. Ultimately, I decided on this deep, vampy lip. So both of these are in the shade She Must Be New. And I'm gonna try and rock this this fall. So the Precision Lip Crayons, I've been loving these. It's a push-up applicator, which I don't really like, but I do like the slanted shape. And this is gonna be an interesting experiment because while I do love all of the nudie brown ones of these that I have, we'll have to see when the tip of this gets a little more blunt. We'll see how precise we can keep that application because I do wish there was a way to sharpen it. But while this is fresh and new, I do love the slanted shape of this. But I love the formula of these. They're very long lasting while also having the perfect creamier consistency without being too creamy. The shade was very, very pigmented, very easy to apply, but again, it was that nice, sharp, unused tip that we had. Mm, but I love these. They can be used as lipsticks in my opinion. They might be a little bit on the dry side, but I just like to put these all over my lips. And he has the best colors. Even though this color is outside of my comfort zone, you can't deny that it's not gorgeous. And then the last item that I got, which you saw, was the lipstick. I love his lipstick formula. I only own one. It's always been on my wish list to get more colors of these. So I figured, you know, we got the dark lip liner. Let's get the matching lipstick. His formula is beautiful. It is like a suede lipstick. It's matte without being too drying. It's like a tinge more red than the lip liner, but obviously they're a perfect combo. I love the formula of this. It is so beautiful. So we'll have to see how this lip color wears. It just worked out that I had a purple eye on, so I put this lip on, but I cannot wait to create a really clean, perfected face with very minimal eyes and this all over the lips and really accentuate the shape of my lips and overline. I think it's going to be a stunning, stunning look. So I will do that very soon with this lip color because out of my comfort zone, but it's gorgeous. <laughs> so anyways, that is everything that I picked up so far from the Sephora Holiday Savings event. Really excited to continue playing with this. I have to say everything that I bought so far, I'm really, really impressed with. This haul was very, very successful. I'd even argue more successful than my first haul. In my first haul, there was stuff I was kind of lukewarm about. Love everything that I have today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.